I'm going to make this video. <laughs> I'm going to get here. I was laughing a little bit ago because of what God did with this last video. I don't even think it lasted a minute. I was talking about this phenomenal woman who God had used as my angel to come and deliver me. And, and I, I was thinking about it and she, <laughs> apparently God wanted her honored and he wanted her honored in her own little video. <laughs> and so, so he, apparently that's what he wanted because this little thing right here, this little thing on the computer, it literally just went, quit recording and blinked off. Now, I know I looked in the direction of blinking it off, but I was not aware I blinked it off. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know God shut it off. He was using me to shut it off. But she deserved, and God felt she deserved that special honor. There are some of you that deserve special honor also. So, what I wanted to talk to you about today is I, I do have uh, some pretty uh, potent messages out there, but the Lord said I've got to tell the prophet first. I've got to tell him the truth because I, I, there is no way that God wants me to not. I heard a noise and that's okay. I mean, I didn't know if my husband was getting up because it's in the middle of the night again. Anyway, they need the truth. They need the truth more than you do because they're so much more responsible for what they do than what you do. You know, when a doctor operates, he's responsible for that life. If he makes a mistake, that person could die. Well, it's the same thing in ministry. If you make some mistakes, people can really perish over it. And that's a tremendous responsibility. And yet that's why you must check and double check and make sure you're absolutely right. Because if you don't, you are doing more harm than you are doing good. And you can't ever take it to yourself. But when God comes to you and shows you an angel and tells you and even gives you visions to give you a message, what he is showing you that have been seeking him, he's real. Start believing that when he shows you something, he's going to give you the answer. You know, you'll see things and you won't quite understand. Someone, One woman called in and she said, I've been seeing these evil things. And I don't know what they are. And what people usually do when they see that, they're serving God, they're working for God, and they do not have any idea God is calling them to intercede and break the power of the evil by pleading the blood. And you plead the blood till everything disappears. You have just successfully interceded for someone. You might have interceded for the nation. You might have, but you're being called. But see, the person that is not acknowledging God in all their ways, they go, oh, that's me, and look, I did something wrong, and I, and so it keeps coming back, and it keeps coming back, and you don't know what to do with it because you're not listening to God. You've got to listen to the truth. It's coming back because you were, he intended for you to handle it and overcome it. I'm talking about things about uh Bring it every thought captive. Sit down and write down what you thought and you saw and then ask God, how do I handle this? Instead of just letting it slide by and letting it slide by and it comes back and then you have this problem and you don't even know what's going on and you keep on praying, God, show me, God, show me. Well, he's showing you and you won't listen. Like I gave the example the other day, you're real busy, you pick up a, a package, you have your, your, your keys on your little finger, you put the package in the refrigerator, you release the keys and you don't even know it because you're so busy, you've got another package, you don't want it to melt, and, and you close the refrigerator and you, you go out and you uh, can't find your keys. 
And so you pray, God, show me the keys. He shows you the refrigerator. And you go, that can't be God. So you look through the whole house. You torture yourself with it. You do it three or four times, and he's still showing you the refrigerator. Well, that's the way it is when you have a bunch of things that come to you you don't know how to handle because he's calling you to something you don't know what it is. Finally, it's going to occur to you to write it down and talk to him about it. Finally, you're going to come to the place where, aha, I've graduated from being in that place of constantly seeking him this way. Now he's answering me. Show me what you want me to do. Show me why this, he's answering me. So now he wants me in a place of a different place. Another step higher. Another step, step into truth. I hope this helps you. I really do.